Natural resources are essential for all forms of life on earth. Amongst these, land and water are primary natural resources required for the survival of mankind and all other living beings. The Bundelkhand region of the country covers 7.04 million hectares in central India, spreading over 13 districts of Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. Nearly 71% of the total geographical area of the region suffers from various forms of land degradation, such as ravines, rocky wastelands and degraded scrub vegetation. The typical red and black soil of the Bundelkhand region, popularly known as Rakar, Parva, Kavar, Mar, have distinct inherent edaphic constraints and are highly erodible, have low fertility, poor infiltration rate and water holding capacity, leading to low productivity. Dependent on rain-fed agriculture with low cropping intensity, the region suffers from frequent crop failures due to erratic rainfall, thus causing severe socio-economic problems. Considering the severity and peculiarity of the problem in the Bundelkhand region, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research or ICAR established a research station in Datya district of Madhya Pradesh in September 1986 under the aegis of the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun. The primary mandate of the research center at Tatya is to undertake research and develop technologies to tackle the water scarcity and land degradation problems to enhance productivity of all primary production systems and thereby improve the livelihood security of the rural population in the Bundelkhand region. Its main objective is to conduct research and develop the technologies for tackling the water scarcity and land degradation problems, increasing production and productivity of arable and non-arable lands in the Bundelkhand region within broad approaches and framework of the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun. To accomplish this mandate, the thrust areas of research have been organized into seven research programs, namely Water Erosion Appraisal in the Bundelkhand region, Conservation Measures for Sustainable Production Systems, Hydrological Behavior of Watersheds for Conservation Planning, Rehabilitation of Areas Affected by Mass Erosion, Participatory Integrated Watershed Management, Socio-Economic Analysis and Policy Development for Watershed Management, and Human Resource Development and Technology Transfer. The research center is spread over a 191 hectare area with the main office building which accommodates research laboratories, a library, conference hall, museum come exhibition hall, a committee room, staff residential quarters, a farmer's hostel and a research farm with a meteorological observatory. Over a period, the research center has developed a large number of cost-effective agronomic, mechanical and bioengineering conservation measures for enhancing the productivity of arable and non-arable lands in the region. Drought-hardy rain-fed crops like green gram, black gram, cow pea and groundnut are found to be most promising with a yield potential of about 6 to 8 quintals per hectare besides reducing soil loss by 58% and conserving precious rainwater. Deep tillage by mold board plough once in three years has conserved 18% more rainwater and with live mulching of sun hemp it has been enhanced to 34% and increased the sorghum yield by more than 35% over the traditional practice. The growing of a green manure crop before the sowing of wheat has increased the wheat yield by 35% and water use efficiency by 30%. The application of vermicompost at 2 tons per hectare with NPK and NADAP manure at 5 tons per hectare with NPK increased the yield of mustard by 41% and green gram by more than 60% over non-manured or fertilized crops. As contingency crop planning for rain-fed areas in the Bundelkhand region, intercropping of soya bean with castor and red soil and soya bean with sesame in black soil 
were found to be more remunerative than raising castor or sesame as the sole crop. Similarly, intercropping of two rows of sesame in between two rows of sorghum gave a higher sorghum equivalent yield of 41.4 quintals per hectare than the sole crop of sorghum alone. To minimize the risk of crop failure under rain-fed conditions, supplemental irrigation from harvested rainwater in a farm pond served as a boon for farmers of the Bundelkhand region. Providing supplementary irrigation to soya bean at the pod filling stage, pre-sowing irrigation for mustard and toria at 30 days after sowing, increased the yield of soya bean by 40%, mustard by 130%, and Toria by 180%. The use of a rain gun was the most effective irrigation technique to promote water efficiency and increase crop yield. For in-situ rainwater conservation, contour buns at 0.7 meters vertical intervals were found effective in conserving more than 75% of the runoff in red soil. Vegetative barriers were found to be the most cost-effective and eco-friendly conservation measures. The planting of Kaskas grass across the slope at 11 meter spacing reduced the runoff and soil loss by over 50% and increased the sorghum grain yield significantly. Biotic interferences and stray cattle are a threat to the establishment of a good forest cover in the region. A protected forest watershed over a period of 10 years has helped in increasing the natural regeneration by sevenfold with 100% canopy cover and reduce the runoff by 83% over the unprotected forest watershed. The centre has undertaken several programmes sponsored by various ministries such as the Ministry of Agriculture, the Ministry of Rural Development and the Ministry of Water Resources for the effective demonstration and dissemination of developed technologies in fields where farmers have adopted a watershed approach. The Bajni Watershed Program has enhanced arable land productivity by 31%, farm income by 61% and water availability by 100% during the Kharif season and more than six times during the Rabi cropping season and reduced runoff by 36% and soil loss by 32%. बाटर लेवल अच्छा हुआ और वर्तमान में जो है अच्छा पानी दे रहा है ट्यूबवेल और इससे हमें बहुत सा लाभ हुआ इसके अलावा जो है हमें बीज भी मिला इसकी पैदावार भी जो है कि बहुत ही अच्छी जो है किस्म की मूंगफली हुई जो अभी तक हमने पैदा नहीं कर पाई वो अभी प्राप्त हुई है वाटर शेड योजना के तहत ये लाभ हुआ है द सेंटर कंडक्ट्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग प्रोग्राम्स व्हिच इंक्लूड टेलर मेड शॉर्ट कोर्सेज with a duration of one to two weeks in the field of soil and water conservation, agroforestry and watershed management, sponsored by the central and state governments, autonomous bodies and NGOs. The centre has undertaken several outreach programmes to create mass awareness about the technologies related to the conservation of soil and water and watershed management. These include field demonstrations, farmers' days, National Resource Conservation Week, and National Science Day. The Datia Research Centre under the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute Dehradun is actively working to tackle the problems of depleting natural resources effectively through the development of appropriate technologies for the reclamation of degraded land, which in turn will help to improve the productivity of crops and the livelihood security of resource-poor farmers in the Bundelkhand region. Let's go, 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 let's go